Suppose that a thin metal wire in the shape of a semicircle occupies the curve C, where C is the top half of the circle x squared plus y squared equals four, which is graphed here in red. The mass density of the wire is described by the function rho of x comma y equals x to the sixth y, where I have to find the total mass of the wire. The total mass of the wire is equal to the line integral along the curve C of rho of x comma y differential s, where rho of x comma y is the density function, and differential s indicates we integrate with respect to arc length. To evaluate this though, we'll write the integral in this form here. Before we do this though, we need to write the parametric equations for the curve C. And because we have a semicircle with a radius of two, we can let x of t equal two cosine t and y of t equal two sine t. Notice when t is equal to zero, x of zero is equal to two, and y of zero is equal to zero, which would be this point here. And when t is equal to pi radians, x of pi is equal to negative two, and y of pi is equal to zero again. Which means the interval for t is going to be the closed interval from zero to pi radians. We also need to find x prime of t and y prime of t. X prime of t is equal to negative two sine t, and y prime of t is equal to two cosine t. So we know the mass is equal to the line integral along the curve C of x to the sixth y differential s. But now let's write this in this form here, which means we need to write the density function as a function of t using x of t and y of t. And then differential s is equal to the square root of the square of x prime of t plus the square of y prime of t dt. So because rho of x comma y is x to the sixth y, and x of t is equal to two cosine t, and y of t is equal to two sine t, we would have two cosine t to the sixth times two sine t. And then we have times the square root of the square of x prime of t, which is the square of negative two sine t plus the square of y prime of t, which is the square of two cosine t. And then we have dt. The limits of integration with respect to t we know are from zero to pi radians. Let's begin by simplifying the erratic hand here. We have four sine squared t yeah. plus four cosine squared t. If we factor out the four, we have four times the quantity sine squared t plus cosine squared t. Well, we know sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to one. Four times one is just four. Notice here we have the square root of four, which just simplifies to two. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We have the integral from zero to pi radians. Here we'd have two to the sixth cosine to the sixth t, and then times two sine t. We know this simplifies to the square root of four, which is equal to two, so we have times two dt. Let's continue on the next slide. Notice we have six, seven, eight factors of two. Let's write this as two to the eighth times the integral from zero to pi of cosine to the sixth t sine t dt. And now we need to perform u substitution to evaluate this, where u is equal to cosine t Differential u is equal to negative sine t dt. Let's divide both sides by negative one, which gives negative differential u equals sine t dt. So if we write this in terms of u, we have the integral of sine t dt is equal to negative du, and cosine to the sixth t is u to the sixth which means the antiderivative with respect to t is going to be two to the eighth times negative u to the seventh divided by seven, which is negative cosine to the seventh t divided by seven. 
limits of integration are from zero to pi radians. And now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A. Let's write this as negative two to the eighth divided by seven. And then we'll have times cosine to the seventh pi minus cosine to the seventh zero. Cosine pi is equal to negative one. This is negative one to the seventh minus cosine zero is one, so we have one to the seventh. This gives us negative two to the eighth divided by seven times, this will be negative one minus one or negative two, which is equal to positive two to the ninth divided by seven, which is equal to 512 sevenths or approximately 73.1429. So this is the mass of the wire that occupies the curve C with the given density function. I hope you found this helpful.